an invisible bond that connects us. The 15th meridian east, from minus 50 to plus 50 degrees Celsius, it unites all the climate zones of the Earth. People and places that could not be more different, connected by a common daily rhythm. After all, the time of day on the 15th meridian is always the same from Svalbard to Namibia. A day on the 15th meridian, different worlds at exactly the same time. A day on the 15th meridian east. More than 11,000 kilometers lie between the northernmost and the southernmost points of our journey along the 15th meridian. A new day begins simultaneously for its inhabitants. Gentle nature, raw wilderness. In this episode, we will discover the diversity of nature in Svalbard and Namibia, Slovenia, Poland and Germany. The 15th meridian unites extreme weather conditions the shimmering heat of Africa with the eternal cold of northern Scandinavia and the temperate climate of Central Europe. Five people from five countries, they all live on the 15th meridian and have dedicated their lives to protecting the environment. At seven o'clock in the morning, they prepare for a new day, spatially separated, but not temporally. Um, Um, alltså jag känner mig inte direkt rädd för naturen eller vildmarken här. Uh, men man, jag känner respekt för, för naturen. No, Pyrrhoda är för mig tack vare allt det jag älskar, det jag älskar och det jag älskar. Det är också mitt läkare för allt jag älskar och allt jag älskar. Long year Boone on Swaboard, Sinia Dahlberg took an early trip out onto the North Sea with her visitors. So these two guys, they are bearded seals, and that's the biggest uh, type of seal that live here in the in the fjords. So we have bearded seal, ring seal, and the harp seal. Yeah, we'll slowly drive over to see these guys, and then maybe. Go back to these guys also. 26-year-old Sinje came to the capital Longyearbyen four years ago. Svalbard, as the Norwegians call this island, is the northernmost point of our journey on the 15th meridian. It is a hostile environment in which the sun never rises in winter and never sets in summer. Nevertheless, wild geese have their breeding grounds here on the Arctic islands. They feel at home in the white wilderness. Ja, när jag är ute på, ute på fjorden eh, och det, är, det kan vara helt stilla spegelblank sjö eller det kan vara också stora brytande vågor. Eh, men det känns, det känns bra att vara där. Det känns skönt att, att känna på vinden och, och vågorna. Och den. Jag känner mig trygg i den båten som jag har att jag kan komma hem igen. Säkert. Ja, det är nog eh, både och. Man, jag tycker att när man ser de stora fjällen och eh, de stora fonden och glaciärerna och allt här är ju, det är ju det är ett, det är ett stort land. Det är en stor ö och 
då känner man sig nog eh, ganska liten. Men... It's Sinje's job to accompany tourists and explorers across these expanses and to ensure their safety. A big responsibility. Det kan vara uppdrag lite som svårare eh, situationer eh, med gäster ibland att de kanske inte förväntar sig att det eh, kommer en tjej och ska köra båten med dem eller köra skoter med dem. Det, så det händer ibland att de ska, ska vara tuffa och eh, ja, macho och de vill köra köra fort med skoten eller eh, ja, göra saker som, som är otrygga och som vi inte gör på guidade turer. Gender equality has long been an everyday reality in Scandinavia, but many international visitors are not accustomed to it. Sinje is a trained adventure guide. She deals with prejudices calmly. Here we have the metamorphic rock. Rock from the inner of the earth. Då är det ju en väldig glädje att visa naturen för, för andra och förverkliga deras drömmar och, och, äventyr, och göra äventyr för dem ute i naturen och verkligen visa upp de fina fjällen och fjordarna som vi har. Och det, det är det som jag, som jag tycker om. At the same time in the morning, on a lake in the marshland of Pokoszelica, on the northwest coast of Poland, these are the breeding grounds for a large colony of black-headed gulls now caring for their young. Piotr Jontik got up early, once again, to observe the spectacle. Tak naprawdę przygoda moja z przyrodą zaczęła się już w najmłodszych latach. Jako dziecko interesowałem się już ptakami, ssakami, generalnie wszystkimi zwierzętami. I wydaje mi się, że tak naprawdę obudził się mi taki instynkt jakby ornitologa i od tego momentu zaczęła się moja przygoda. Piotr works as an independent ornithologist. He monitors the number and movement of birds along the Chebetowski coast in western Poland. His work in bird sanctuaries helped determine, for example, whether wind farms can be built. He's alone in nature almost every day. Czuję się samotny będąc e, na przykład, znaczy samotność, ja bym to raczej chyba tak nie mówił o samotności, no bo ciężko być samemu, gdy otacza mnie Taka ilość ptaków. Ciężko jest mówić o samotności, a wręcz przepadam. Jeżeli to jest coś takiego, taką samotność ja lubię tak naprawdę i sprawia mi ona naprawdę dużą frajdę i przyjemność, bo, bo, bo mogę obcować wtedy z przyrodą i, i zlewam się jakby z tym wszystkim, co mnie otacza i jest to naprawdę piękne i każdemu polecam obcowanie z przyrodą i właśnie taką samotność. Sinje has a very similar feeling way up north. Det är också fint att vara själv ute och känna att man klarar av att att vara på tur själv och att göra allting att ta sig från en plats till en annan och A quarter to nine and three and a half thousand kilometers further south, 
lies Slovenia, where the biologist Boris Koller is wandering through a world of green. East of Maribor, the sought-after researcher cultivates old forgotten fruit varieties in his spare time. Že kot štiri letni otrok sem tako je potem, ko sem se, ko mi je babica povedala, da ne morem biti kavbojec, ker sem takrat hotel biti, sem pač povedal, da bom pa proučeval v živali. Ne, danes mogoče same Živali mene ne zanimajo več kot posamezne vrste, kot taksonomske enote. Predvsem me danes zanima ta odnos med samimi vrstami, med različnimi, med rastlinami, med glivami, med prav ti medsebojni odnosi, ki pač v ekosistemu vladajo. Boris Koller is an environmental toxicologist. He investigates the effects that agricultural poisons have on nature. When Boris is outdoors, he becomes part of nature and tries to understand its condition, but he does not intervene. Like here, in his mini jungle. Zelo, zelo navadni gost. Mogoče jaz ga vzdržujem na malo nenavaden način. In sicer tako, da ga ne pospravljam. Se veje, ta stara drevesa pač tukaj ostane. This leaves more organic matter in the forest, which provides a home for many living creatures. The humus that they produce serves as food for new plants, and the cycle continues. To pa ja, zaradi tega, ker je gost, Gozdovi v teh krajih so precej prizadeti zaradi klimatskih sprejmen, predvsem zaradi hudih suš. In če je več hranil tleh, to laže prenašajo. Mogoče nekateri sosedje mislijo, da sem precej neodgovoren lasnik, predvsem šlampas, da nič ne pospravim, ampak ko sma rad tak nered. For Boris Koller, the undisturbed exchange of nutrients among fungi, insects and plants is the only way to ensure that an ecosystem becomes sustainable. 9 a.m. in Slovenia and 9 a.m. in Ondangwa, Namibia, at the southern tip of the 15th meridian, Rana starts her day in the mother tree nursery. Ndaho kwa kuronga, kukarapi imeno. No kuronga ni imeno. Imeno. About 11,000 kilometers south of Swabord lies Namibia, the most sparsely populated region in Africa. The climate here is predominantly dry with hot summers and mild winters. In the deforested northwest of the country, Rana Wilhelm leads the environmental project Trees for the World. It aims to stop the spread of desertification and to improve people's lives. Trees, ultimately, provide not only oxygen, but also shade. <laughs> And to tie at to work up your imeno tatsik, then our town to take a grina, a shia grinomit in the nother tazi to be on the ponzia to food the rem oxygen. So do it or shasimana. Founded by a German in 1999, the nursery is now run by young Namibians. Rana ensures that everything runs smoothly. Seedlings are bred here, protected from the African sun by tarps. 
They are sold locally, but also serve to densify plantations in the surrounding area. Another one of the small NGO's goals is to create more forests in the region. For Rana, this task has changed her life. At the same time in Görlitz, on the eastern border of Germany. Also, was ich hier ganz ähm, toll finde und was ich auch immer wieder genieße, ist a, erstmal, dass es nicht so überbevölkert ist. Man kann also wirklich spazieren gehen, ohne permanent über äh, andere Menschen zu stolpern. Man hat hier eine Fauna und Flora, die man sicherlich nicht überall findet. Also hier läuft der Wolf rum, hier stolpert man über einen Biber oder einen Otter. Die Landschaft ist sehr abwechslungsreich. Wir sind das Land der tausend Teiche. Also für Naturliebhaber ist das ein Eldorado. Since 2011, Catherine Hammer and her husband Sven run the girl at Zoo at the Border Triangle in Lusatia. Their most important task is the conservation of both nature and endangered animal species. We are here a bit of a different concept. Also zum einen ist es uns sehr wichtig, dass wir dieser zunehmenden Naturentfremdung unserer Gesellschaft entgegenwirken, mit der Tatsache, dass die Besucher, die zu uns kommen, ein persönlich individuelles, emotionales Tiererlebnis bekommen. Deshalb sind viele unserer Tiere so präsentiert, dass man sie hautnah erleben kann oder zumindest eine emotionale Nähe. Hallo. Many species are extinct because humans have destroyed their habitats. In the Gurlitt Zoo, endangered species, ancient and modern domestic animal breeds, as well as the wild animal species of Upper Lusatia, find a new home instead of captivity. The couple rescues animals from poor living conditions from other zoos or from the circus. ob wir tatsächlich etwas verändern können, ob wir etwas davor bewahren können, ausgerottet zu werden, das sei dahingestellt, aber zumindest nicht die Augen zu verschließen und andere darauf hinzuweisen. Das ist ja auch unsere Philosophie, die wir im, äh, im Tierpark ausleben und äh, umsetzen. Diversity, beauty, uniqueness. The faces of nature are as different as those of human beings. Are we really aware of how much we threaten the flora and fauna? Of what it means for us when they die off? These people on the 15th meridian are united by their respect for nature and their desire to protect it. Almost noon, Piotr is now paddling on the Riga River in West Pomerania. He observes the birds along the course of the river in his free time. 
wydaje mi się, że wiele gatunków ptaków, nietoperzy innych zwierząt niestety, niestety drastycznie e, spada, jeżeli chodzi o liczebności. E, wiele gatunków już wymarło. Właśnie powodem jest brak e, jakby wiedzy na temat ich ochrony, a przede wszystkim świadomość ludzi, e, by te zwierzęta chronić. No jest mi bardzo przykro z tego powodu, że ludzie nie mają świadomości e, ochrony przyrody. Ludzie są leniwi i po prostu tego nie robią. Wystarczy pójść do lasu gdziekolwiek i niestety, ale napotykamy tam taką jakby haniebną działalność człowieka, bo nic nie szkodzi i nic nie stoi na przeszkodzie ku temu, by wyrzucić daną butelkę do śmieci. A poza tym człowiek nie przywiązuje, ludzie nie przywiązują wagi właśnie do ochrony przyrody. Jag tycker det är eh, det är skrämmande att det blir varmare och att klimatet ändras. Men eh, det är svårt att veta också. En del säger att det bara är en naturlig variation medan andra säger att det är ju global uppvärmning. Men eh, jag tror nog att det är global uppvärmning och jag tycker att man ska eh, tänka på miljön och eh, ta vara på den och så. All 168 kilometers of the Riga been under conservation protection since 2012. Surrounded by forests, the waterway has an important ecological significance for the region. The śmieć w lesie jest przykro z tego powodu, ponieważ świadczy to o niedbalstwie człowieka i gdzieś tam wewnątrz mnie wydobywać taki krzyk, ale ten krzyk jakby dodaje mi energii, by, by się nie podawać, by uświadamiać ludzi, że ta butelka stanowi zagrożenie dla, czy tam guma do życia dla wielu y, zwierząt, że ta butelka się będzie rozkładała przez tysiące lat. No, staram się z tym walczyć w jakiś sposób. Mógłbym się podać, nie robić nic, no ale lepiej walczyć z ludźmi, uświadamiać ich. Piotr loves the Riga. He fights for his Pomeranian river landscape for nature in his native Poland. Boris Koller, the Slovenian researcher, is on his way to his favorite river, the Drava. He's drawn to the depth of the underwater world again and again. Not only to conduct research and gain knowledge, he sees something more in the brown broth. Ja, w piszczu, kiedy się recimo, czy się potaplam w reki, nie, je mogoče do, dożywieć tą fascinację, jaki je na kopnem praktycznie skoraj nie mogoče. Se mi je zazdelo nekoć, da, če bi, da je ta pogled, to, kar vidim, a, mogoče popełnoma isto, kot bi, če bi bil tukaj deset tisoč let a, nazaj, bi imel by videl popolnoma iz tega nakopnem v našem tukaj vsakdanjem življenju praktično. Ne moraš doživeti ne? reka, ki pa teče skos moje mesto. Uh, pa je tak paralelni svet. Nature, and especially the element water, constitutes his life, his religion. <laughs> Naše okolje ma v sebi nosi zelo, zelo veliko moč in sposobnost uh, samoohranjanja. Uh, in uh, še mogoče naj, največjo skrb, naj, najbolj me skrbi v bistvu zato, uh, da ljudje v bistvu pozabljajo ali pozabljamo na enkratnost uh, našega okolja. Če reko, ki je zdaj podobna, kot je bila pred sto leti, pred dvesto leti, pregradimo z jezovi, jo kultiviramo, udomačimo, 
smo to okolje spremenili za vedno. Problem ist halt, dass jeder im heute und jetzt lebt, jeder im heute und jetzt es sich gut gehen lassen äh, möchte und sich keiner wirklich Gedanken macht, äh, wie man halt tatsächlich nachhaltig und zukunftsorientiert unsere Ressourcen nutzen kann und möchte, so dass tatsächlich auch noch eine Zukunft äh, für folgende Generation ähm, da ist. Lunchtime on the 15th meridian. Between work and thinking about the well-being of the world, everyone needs a break. On Swabord, Sinja Dahlberg is not only a guide on the water, but also on the permafrost. Today she shows her Russian friend Vladimir the beauty and fascination of the glacial crevices. Their passion for extreme nature brought them together in 2014. They have been a couple ever since. Helmet on. If you want to travel through the heart of this Arctic ice landscape, you have to know your way around. Otherwise, it is extremely perilous. I think that it is so extreme to live here, even if it is the coolest city in the whole world. So you must like nature, because you have it so close to you, because there are so many opportunities to find nature. The icy glaciers cover about 60% of the Svalbard archipelago. Jag tycker det är väldigt speciellt att man får chansen att verkligen gå in i en glaciär och se den på insidan. För många av, av glaciärerna som vi har här på Svalbard, de är också väldigt stora och de kalvar i fjorden och de får många sprickor i sig. Så där är det ju farligt att gå in. Man kan inte gå in i dem. Men här så är det ju helt tryggt. Den här glaciären är så liten och den rör sig inte så mycket och den kalvar ju inte. Sometimes whole mountains break off from glaciers and float on the sea. These icebergs then drift into the sea in a process called calving. The icebergs can be as big as a city. Second only to the oceans, glaciers are one of the largest water reservoirs on Earth and store 70% of the world's fresh water. Fyra år är en ganska kort tid för att se förändringar i naturen tycker jag. Men i höstas, när, då var inte jag här men jag har hört att då var, det, då var det milt och det regnade och permafrosten smälte lite till så det var jordskred runt Långebyen. Och det, det är väl det som vi har, har sett på senare år att det är mildare och 
Och att isen lägger sig inte på fjorden som den har gjort förut och det har varit lite mer regn. Svalbard belongs to Norway, but more than 10 nations are conducting research here. First and foremost, measurements are being taken to investigate climate change. Sinje and Vladimir are going home, while Rana and Katrin are looking after their trees. In a region plagued by poverty and unrest, environmental protection is a luxury. Nevertheless, Rana is committed to the reforestation of her homeland. Lush forests still grew here 50 years ago. The rapidly growing population needed masses of firewood and building materials. The tropical dry forests disappeared. Today, Rana and her colleagues are trying to turn the trees they plant into a forest again. While Katrin carries on watering, Rana has to go back into town to check on her baby Danki. But she's also going back to school. Quarter to five. Sven Hammer, the veterinarian from Görlitz, is out on the cow pastures with a farmer, Matthias Mütze. Together, they are developing an idea for combining species protection with agriculture. Their common workplace is located in the former border area between Poland and Germany. They preserve the open landscape, that is to say the natural landscape, by chomping down on tree growth, nature conservation through eating. Die Hornhaut hat noch so eine ähm, Verletzung, aber es ist keine tiefgreifende. Also es, ist, äh, es schon, findet schon eine Abheilung statt. Heute äh, haben wir also einen, einen Bestandsbesuch gemacht ähm, und haben besprochen, wie das Jahr überlaufen soll, welche Kühe kommen soll, welche ähm, Mineralversorgung, welche Zuchtideen ähm, der Matthias Mütze hat. Wir haben jetzt auch aufgrund äh, der Tatsache, dass wir das hier biologisch betreuen wollen und ökologisch, haben wir auf ähm, Entwurmungsmittel jetzt im Frühjahr verzichtet, sodass sie eben hier nicht eingetragen werden, weil auch die Entwurmungsmittel sind ja letztendlich ähm, Medikamente, die dann auch über den Kot wieder in den Boden gehen und dort auch negative Auswirkungen auf Insekten haben können. 
In organic farming, care is taken to ensure that as little deworming agent is used as possible. The farmer, Matthias Mütze, makes his animals available for grazing. In the old lignite producing region, the former mines have become Europe's largest lake district. Devastated nature is becoming usable again for both humans and animals. Wie betrachte ich unsere Welt? Uns geht's verdammt gut. Und es gibt mit Sicherheit viele Plätze auf der Welt, wo es Menschen gibt, denen es nicht so gut geht wie uns in Europa. Um diesen Lebensstandard zu halten, benötigen wir die zehnfache Fläche von Deutschland. Sei es Ressourcen, sei es alles, was man sich nur vorstellen kann, um diesen Lebensstandard zu halten. Die zehnfache Fläche von Deutschland. Aber die Erde ist rund. Das heißt, alle anderen Menschen werden irgendwann zu uns sagen, wir wollen den gleichen Standard haben, wir wollen, dass es uns genauso gut geht. Und da, denke ich mal, werden dann die Probleme entstehen. Weil das würde für uns bedeuten, wir müssen zurücktreten von unserem hohen Lebensstandard, von unseren ganzen Annehmlichkeiten. Das heißt, zukünftige Generationen werden es nicht leicht haben. Sven Hammer and his wife Katrin met thanks to a camel. Over time, they came to love each other. They are still helping weak camels to build up their strength at home these days. She takes care of animals and nature day and night and has been doing so for 17 years. The shared work provides stability for the childless couple. Also, ich bin gerne allein. Ich komme gerne mit mir ähm, alleine klar. Äh, es ist jetzt auch nicht zwingend dieses, weil wir keine Kinder haben, ähm, aber plötzlich zu sehen, vielleicht auch dadurch, dass meine Mutter gestorben ist, dass die Menschen, die einem lieb und teuer und wichtig sind, dass die also plötzlich wegfallen, ja, dass man irgendwann übrig ist. Das macht mir persönlich so ein bisschen Angst. Anfang des Jahres ist meine Mutter gestorben, ganz plötzlich. Und das sind auch so Momente, wo man dann anfängt zu überlegen, was ist eigentlich wirklich wichtig in diesem Leben. Ich habe meine Einstellung, mein Mann und ich, wir haben eine Einstellung dazu, dass man also wirklich jede Kreatur, jede Spezies um ihre Selbstwillen äh, schützen sollte und nicht immer nur einen Nutzen sehen möchte. Nature has its own rhythm. It is subject to a complex interplay of incredibly varied organisms, which we're still far from understanding. In the last 1,400 years, Earth has never been as warm as it was between the years 1971 and 2000. We don't know what that will mean for the next 1,000 years. What outstanding bills will nature ask us to pay? Back in northern Namibia, at the Angolan border, 
This is the tribal area of the Ovambo people. Ron and Katrin are planting trees here, trying to fight against the clear cutting of the past decades. The land surrounding Ondangwa is actually fertile. Tango, tango, okwari epsa. Eharojari epsa jo jon kwaniru. Kwaniru ambia nare nare. Then as she has simonet, I found the Kwamuno, Karikarapuike, Jafodese, Tanganga. Then to Tameke Neku Prantingam. Karikarie, she to planting a moje, Tarimonicarea, Jafu Forest, Shoshamwete, no Mitiza, Kokanga, Kojari, Keta, the Monikanga. Kuku lives right next door in an Ovambo town. Kuku is nearly 100 years old and a descendant of the royal family. Rana and her colleagues got to know Kuku when they took over the land. They have great respect for her, inform her when they plant trees, in the hope that she will also keep an eye on them. The Ovambo people are made up of a number of related Bantu tribes. Planting trees has always been part of their culture, and many fruit trees are considered to be sacred. No Kugandanga, Moka, Fataya Mota, or Haku Tamundishi, and you look at a fat. It and the Itaro Kuta Guruka, the pretty combined down the latte, it itara, she don't get a imipora. They didn't have me for a tender or angica or kangica on the Nokumquata. In accordance with Ovambo tradition, Kuku and her tribe live in round houses with palisades. They breed cattle, goats, and sheep. The men take care of the cattle while the women grow so-called mahangu, pearl millet. This grain is used to make porridge and to brew beer. The Ovambos work from sunrise to sunset. Ante lomba nga kutsa onkara mwenyo onkara mwenyo oiri mama kego emene nte okutsange otoningi shino na shino o ongweike mwene to to na guru onkara mwenyo e then unanga kwenda pankaro gulinge nange tangi 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 Tangi, tangi, nampongo. Tangi, 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 nampongo, papata. Yara te kuru ante, ante aziko finiranda. Dero te amo ka kuru pe kongani. Tangi, 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 tangi. Yara mati ani na kalonga. different everyday lives at different points on the meridian. In the meantime, Sinye has almost arrived back in town. I have folk from so many different countries here, so there are good opportunities to 
och få nya kompisar. Men sen så är det ju så att det är många som flyttar hit och är här kanske en kortare tid, en säsong eller ett år. Och sen flyttar, flyttar de igen. Så det är alltid tråkigt när ens nya kompisar kanske flyttar igen. The first people settled here in 1906, drawn by the discovery of valuable coal deposits. The town of Longyearbyen was built near the first mine. Permanent inhabitants are rather rare. Sinje is attracted by the idea of becoming one of them. Jag kunde gärna tänkt mig att bo själv i en liten stuga långt ute i vildmarken. Det tror jag hade varit. Det tror jag. Och bara känna naturens skiftningar hela året och vara ute varje dag. Det tror jag hade varit jättefint. Oj. Perhaps Sinje Dahlberg has found a new home here halfway between the North Cape and the North Pole. And I'm like, that's touristic. Out of the line. Chick, chick, chick. And look. Meanwhile in Görlitz, evening is also being heralded with a fire here. Wir sind auch ganz glücklich hier im Dreiländereck. Auf der einen Seite Polen, Tschechei, Deutschland. Es sind dann ja auch zwar nicht solche großen kulturellen Unterschiede, aber es sind schon kulturelle Unterschiede da. Und ich finde es spannend, eben Menschen jenseits der Grenzen kennenzulernen. Hier in Upper Lusatia, Catherine Hammer and her husband have created something special for the natural world by combining their philosophy of nature conservation and their love of endangered creatures. Thanks to their temporary ark, they've been able to successfully reintroduce many animal species into their natural habitats. Also es geht um die Sensibilisierung. Je mehr Menschen wir gewinnen, das so zu sehen, zu verstehen, je größer ist die Hoffnung, dass sich vielleicht doch was ändert. Und das machen wir natürlich über die Brücke Tier, weil Tier schon noch Emotionen bei Menschen weckt. Aber auch die Empfindung, wenn man ein Tier berührt, was ich dazu beitragen kann, werde ich tun. Und irgendwann bin ich dann halt nicht mehr da. Aber vielleicht bleibt ja was. Und zumindest wollen wir mit relativ gutem Gewissen jeden Tag den Tag beginnen und auch beenden. Night is approaching on the 15th meridian east. For Boris Koller from Slovenia, it's time to examine the results. Boris works to protect water as a biologist at the Public Health Institute Maribor. He breeds water flies in the laboratory. They are used to test how dirty the water in which they live can be. They thus serve as an indicator of the health of a body of water. If it is too polluted, the flies will die. The svet zmešan tak kot je vedno bil. Edino, edini problem na tem uh, svetu je ta, da pred 100 leti je bila ena milijarda zmešanih ljudi, da zdaj pa jih je pač 8 ali 9 ali pa 7. Vježe v to, že ljudje mm, vše zmenijo in že mm, začnu v koncu tom prirode mm, šanovač in traktovač jak one goal unites all of the people on the 15th meridian, the preservation of our habitat. For Piotr, there is no end in sight. He's still out and about in nature. Perhaps he always will be. Co widzę, jak patrzę w przyszłość. Widzę zmiany. Widzę zmiany i mam nadzieję, że to będą dobre zmiany. Świadomość ludzi odnośnie ochrony przyrody 
raczkuje, ale idzie ku dobremu, bo coraz więcej o tym się mówi, coraz więcej ludzi świadomie zaczyna chronić przyrodę i wydaje mi się, że to, co utraciliśmy, nie zostanie już jakby odnowione, ale to, co jest, człowiek po prostu będzie chronił i, i, i wspólnymi siłami uda nam się ochronić to dobre, które do nas należy, a oczywiście mowa o przyrodzie. We need people like these to help us understand that we can only succeed together. We will only be able to save our Earth together on the 15th meridian and everywhere else.